Welcome to the IXL Solutions video for IXL Grade 11 Skill T4, Proofs Involving Angles. So here we have an incomplete two-column proof, statement and reason, or really the what and the why of why you're doing the proof. So the statement column is the what's happening, the reason column is the why we're allowed to do it. So we have this diagram, and we've been told that line segment or line, yeah, line VX is perpendicular to line UW. So that tells us that the quarter angles are equal because all four of them would be 90 degree angles. That's given. So we could set up two linear pairs. One is the linear pair with UYV and then VYW. So the two angles marked in red have to add up to 180 because they're both 90 degree angles. Because they are equal, we can substitute one for the other and get two times the ang one angle of interest, or 180, we can divide by two to say that's 90. Division by two is algebra. So that's the reason we fill in. And then that's the definition of a perpendicular. So now we know angles I and J are complementary and K and I are complementary complete the proof that J is similar to I. So if I and J are complementary, that is the definition of complementary angles, that they add up to 90, just as they have in step four. So here we are trying to justify that these two and these two are equal to each other. We can do that with substitution or with the transitive property of equality. I think they use the transitive property when there's more than one. So they tend to use substitution when we're substituting for one variable. The transitive property is saying that a if a equals b and b equals c, then a equals c. That's transitive because it transitions from one to the next. We have two pairs of angles that are supplementary. The definition of supplementary angles is that they add up to 180. And now again, we have that transitive property of equality to justify that step. Oh, and hey, we've won a prize. So here we have ST and RS are perpendicular, and UV and VW are perpendicular. We need to prove that angle RST and angle UVW are similar. Well, we start by saying that these are perpendicular to each other. So therefore, we're going to have the definition of perpendicular lines. Do you see that the angle between them is 90 degrees? So now we have the bottom angle is equal to the left angle. We want to prove that they are perpendicular. We know that they are equal. We know that they have to add up to 180 because angles forming a linear pair sum to 180. Now we can do substitution and then algebra to divide by two. And then this is the definition of perpendicular angles. Or the, yeah, if these are the only options, the definition of perpendicular lines would be the one that makes the most sense. Now we get into ones where we'd have to go through and state them all. We are past that 50 point threshold we need for the homework, but we'll go for it anyway. So this is given. We are told that these pairs are complementary. Then we can use the definition of complementary angles to say that those pairs each add up to 90. We can use the transitive property of equality to say they're equal to each other. And then we can cancel the angle W's to say that y equals x. So I think they're going to say that is algebra. And 
and then this is going to be the definition of congruence. So now we need to prove that the lower left angle equals the upper right angle. So FJG and GJH, that's the, a linear pair. Now GJH and HJI also form a linear pair because they're both equal to 180. We can use the transitive property of equality. And then we can use algebra to cancel the angle GJH and apply the definition of congruence. Now we want to prove that our angle R is congruent to angle S, and that's the last line that we need here. So we're going to have angle R is congruent to angle S, and that is by the definition of congruence, because we've already established they're equal. This gets us way past the 50 mark threshold. It's similar concepts, they're just building more and more of the proofs ourselves here. So if you guys want further instruction, I will provide it in class. But no, you know what? I do have a little more time than I thought. Okay, we'll see what we can see if we can push it right to this mark score 100. So we need to show that uh, angle VX. Or the line VX is perpendicular to line YW. And we are given that the top middle angle and the right angle are equal. We've got our linear pair, we've got our substitution, we've got our algebra. So then we can say that if that's a 90 degree angle here, then yes, we're gonna have the final statement line VX is perpendicular to line WY and that's by the definition perpendicular lines because the angle between them is 90. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to push it right to the smart score 100. Not in this video. If we want more, let me know.